and welcome to episode 36 of the Macclesfield Town Series Youth Squad Legend. Let's have a look at the League One standings. Macclesfield are currently fourth and we are two points behind Ipswich at the top. Yes, there has been some trimming of the face, so don't get scared. Just want to point out the Lincoln City manager saying that Macclesfield have a perfect balance. I appreciate that. It's Ipswich Town in a battle for top spot. So this episode is an emergency YSL episode. I was going to upload a Kinde surprise instead, but there was issues with the recording, so unfortunately that will have to wait. So all the stat increases and decreases, I know that Max Jackson has to go down because of his curly whirly incident. They will have to wait until next episode, I've literally had no time. So we'll fix all of that in episode 37, let's enjoy it. Zembergs should have scored there. Runners all over the place, Zembergs, this is perfect, can just play it into Alsage stretching. Can't poke it home. Zembergs. Oh, back heel would have been a little bit smoother, but... Yay! Gaddle plays to Pavel. The Gaddle-Pavel partnership working. Slap that leg. I tell you what, Max Jackson, if you have a good episode, a couple of clean sheets, solid in the air, good wing back play, I might not drop your overall. Oh, boy. <laughs> might have talked too soon. Yeah. Yeah, Max, you're going down, mate. The next goal is absolutely enormous. Zembo's got in well, but look at this. Absolutely ridiculous. Ipswich have gone ahead through no fault of our own. Via corner kick, time to switch it up. That centre mid partnership of Al Saad and Yoda knackered. We don't have any centre mids on the bench, but players that can do a job in centre mids. I think I'm going to go all attacking. Brady and Collins in the middle. Harris coming on. For Zembergs, and that's it. We've rolled the dice. 30 minutes until the end of the game. This is massive for Macclesfield. We need to stop the rot. Max Jackson, ball in. Oh, this is Harris. Penalty, penalty. How many times in this series has the referee given a penalty to the AI for exactly that situation? I'm going to say about three or four. Solid tackle by Brady. We need him up the field, really. Oh, is Tenari on side? Flag's not gone up. Gavel Tanari has finished something so important. We are back in this. Come on. We needed that at least. A draw is not the end of the world. We put ourselves in a position to win it in the last 50 minutes. That is a great ball through. Robertson closed down the angle so, so well. Harris needs help big time. Come on. Joseph Brady, please. Oh. With like inches away from getting that into Pavel. The game was there for the taking. Macclesfield Town, so lucky. Every single bounce. We have lost ground on the league leaders. Awesome. We are now four points behind. Walsall's first team goalkeeper is out injured. Dunn is now relied upon in the net. 59 overall. Massive chance for Macclesfield to bag some goals and bring the morale up. Yes, we got bodies flying forward. Oh, Edda Thadika. Yes! Come on then, Kai Healy! Kai Healy has scored for Macclesfield! Yes! Celebrate with the fans, mate! No? Yeah, that's a good ball. It's Tobias Leahy. Ball is beautiful. It's excellent. Delivery has took out the entire Walsall defence. Bliska, to be honest, that's a decent finish as well from the acute angle. Hungabodu is well out of position now. and It's, it's up to Tobias Leahy to do the defensive job. I'm not too sure. Might as well just play as a three at the back. Cross coming in. It's not the usual suspect taking the corners. But it's done the job. Dennis Bliska putting the cross in to Morgan Collins. No one's beating him in the air. This is a solid little head up against two Walsall players. Brownsword ducks out the way and it ends up in the bottom corner. 3-0 Macclesfield. This is exactly what we needed. And it stays 3-0. Up to the break. We know as soon as it goes 3-0, the AI really does switch on and wants to score against you. So, if we keep this at 3-0 or add more, it'll be a sensational result. Bliska driving. He's got Tanari in front of him. And Kai Healy. Come on, lad. Kai Healy for his second. Oh! Oh! This lad is pretty good. This lad has had a great game. Well in. Healy's off again. Oh! Look at this! No, we couldn't be found! 
Work it around for a fifth goal. Jankovic. Kaheli again. This is Harris. Oh, it's lovely. It's Dennis Blisko. It's goal number five for Macclesfield. What a piece of play by the entire team. Get in. Kai Healy's on for a hat trick, but he'll be unselfish. Pavel. Oh, boy. It's a corner kick. The referee has decided to play on. Dennis Blisko crosses in. Adam Brown sword. It's six. And Blisko is making a mark. He should be corner kick taker. He's had two corners and they've both gone in. Six nil. Oh, wow. That's what we needed. I love that. Sorry about that, Al Saad, but your days as corner kick taker are over. And that means that the introduction makes no sense anymore. But I'm not changing it again. We'll start with this one. Could he put more ads in your videos? Now, it's become normal on YouTube for people to put mid-roll ads in the video. So I don't think it would be that much of a problem if I started doing it. However, I'm not going to start doing it until I desperately need to do it. Right now I think it's more important just to get the video out and for you to enjoy it to its fullest potential. Max Jackson the cop got arrested. Shameful. I don't think it's the actual arrested bit that we're worried about. Can someone remind me because I've completely forgot why Mandeville is 85 overall. This is the last time I'm going to say this. We have randomised the potentials of the regens outside of our club. Mandeville got 95 potential. Even with all the flaws that this game has, I'd probably still take it over FIFA 18 because Ultimate has brought a level of difficulty that I didn't experience. I haven't experienced since FIFA 14. I'm finding it a massive challenge just to get to the top of the League One table. And making crazy League One players like Mandeville only makes my task harder. I swear you ripped that sound off Pingu. All the audio that you hear is from a cartoon show called Ed. Ed and Eddie. Got my hands on a little soundtrack folder. You know what? It's made the episode so much better. Crazy to think that it was like a last minute inclusion. Macclesfield against Portsmouth. Good first touch. Ahmad. Oh, Farhan Gulen! Farhan Gulen scores! And the Barmy Army go wild! Adani Ahmad. Yes. Zenbergs! Finish! Oh, we are rocking and rolling. Zembergs makes it 2 0. Slap it big. Victor Mathis! Oh! Oh! That shouldn't be a foul! He got the ball! He got referee! Have a word with yourself! Have a word, lad! Morgan Collins! Should have made it three. Joseph Brady on the edge. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Wow, where's this come from? Where has this come from? Is it possible to have two consecutive 6-0 victories? Ooh. Oh, no, no it isn't. Pavel, Tanari and Brownsword coming on. Durante has been moved into a centre mid spot. Let the madness begin. Olsen's lost the ball with his control and Portsmouth capitalise. Durante! Oh, jeez! Pavel on side. Flag has not gone up. Right, kill the game, Pavel. Got to be careful. Clark, no, we're not careful at all. It is 3-3, as you'd expect, from going 3-0 up. The most amazing thing is that if it stayed at 2-0, if we hadn't scored that absolute banger with Robert Zembergs, they wouldn't have scored three. I guarantee it, they wouldn't have scored full stop. Gadol Tanari. Yes! Yes! 20 goals in League One for Pavel Chichibal. Out, Mathis. Well done, boys. Oh, that looks good. Macclesfield are in second, 48 points. Ipswich first, 50 points. Sort out these contracts before they become a problem because there's plenty. I only have six months to go. I think what we should do with Rossi is renew his contract and then just try and sell him on. Wayne Olsen, Jack Mitchell, Taylor Harris, Keith Brennan all seen their contracts expire and then we've got Kapuo, Max Jackson, Zembergs, Varanus and uh, more to think about next year. Transfer budget looks like this at the moment. Remember that a stadium upgrade will take £5 million. Pushing it, we got 3.1. Southend are playing a 55 overall centre-back against Hinari and Pavel. Good luck. Passing at the moment is 0%. <laughs> I don't think 
think I've ever seen that before. Match fight possession is 68-32. Help. Go on then. Smash and grab. Oh, that'll do. I will pay an extra pound to charity. Look at Kapuo getting right involved in the training. It's more like dancing on the touchline. Go on, lad. Let's go. Lovely penalty. It's a penalty referee every single day of the week, mate. Al Saad. And again, find him. Al Saad, finish. End of the game right there. Macclesfield get the three points. Come on. It's been a tough one. And they spent the last four minutes of the game just passing it around the back. Southend had a game plan. It just did not come off today. Such a small amount of money for Placido or Hader, but I'm going to have to accept it. Better off having £35,000 in the back pocket. Right, that is it. That is the episode done. Let's do a player scenario. It's landed on Dennis Bliska. Bliska was touched on the toe with a mouldy sandwich. Plus one week foot. All right. This has been Cutsy. Thank you for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box and the bell icon for mobile notifications. I will see you next time.